Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, we're gonna cover the five types of travel experience that will melt your heart and that video is gonna come up right now. After traveling now for the last five years, I got a chance to have a wide variety of travel experience and I have narrowed down five different travel experiences that really left me emotional inside. And I normally don't get emotional, but these five moments really touch my heart. The first one is doing volunteer abroad. When I took the time to travel around the world for one year, in order to save money on accommodations, one of the things that I did was I did work away volunteer. And work away volunteer means that you go to a country and you find a volunteer gig. Sometimes you work in a hostel, sometimes you are doing farming work, sometimes you are teaching English. In my case, I got a chance to work in a hostel and I got a chance to do volunteer work in Poland, teaching English to Polish adults and Polish teens. While I was doing volunteer work in Colombia, working in this hostel, I still vividly remember working in a kitchen in a Thai restaurant in this hostel and the Colombian people in the hostel were teaching me how to improve my Spanish and I thought that was a really heartwarming experience. I also befriended the owner of this hostel who is still my friend to this day and I would love to visit him again at some point in the future. And later on when I got a chance to travel to Poland and did volunteer work teaching English to Polish adults and also teenagers, I really got a chance to learn more about their culture and learn more about their struggles and day-to-day -day life. And I thought that was a really heartwarming experience, especially because after I did my volunteer work, I befriended some fellow volunteers as well as locals and I think that's just one of the best things about travel is the people that you meet along the way. The second type of travel experience that will melt your heart is definitely doing overland travel in Africa. I still remember the many times when I drove in Africa. The first time was in South Africa. I was in an area called Coffee Bay and I would be driving past by African kids and they would chase after the cars and wave at us and it was such a heartwarming experience. I can still remember the smiles on their face while they were waving at us and it was just so beautiful. It was so raw, it was so real and I think that's what travel really is. Later on when I was also in Rwanda and other African countries, same thing happened. I would see an African kid run out of their house, start waving at us with a big smile on their face and again, like I said, very touching and heartwarming experience. The third one on the list is running into kind strangers while traveling. I don't know how many times a stranger has helped me out while I was traveling, but I do remember times like when I was in Czech Republic, I was lost in the train station and a Czech person came up to me and bought me my metro ticket and taught me how to find my way in that metro station. Another good experience I had with strangers was when I was in a train in Serbia going to Montenegro. I didn't have any food on me and a stranger in the same train as me gave me his lunch. And I thought that was really nice of him, especially because I was starving and he just happened to notice that I had no food and he just gave me his sandwich. And this made me realize that there are more good people in this world than bad people. And there is a lot of people out there that is happy to help you out if you need help. The fourth one on the list is couch surfing. And a few times during my travels, I got a chance to couch surf on people's houses. And I thought that was really nice because when I couch surf in their places, I got a chance to get a glimpse of what their local life is like. And oftentimes they tell me stories of their day-to-day -day life. And I really feel gratitude for those people that welcome me in their home and gave me a place to sleep and also and get a chance to get to know what their life is like in their home country and really get that local experience. And the fifth one and probably one of my favorite one on this list is meeting friends and seeing them again in their home country. I think that is hands down one of my favorite part of traveling. For example, when I was backpacking in Africa and in Malaysia, I met some Dutch people who I later on met in their home country of the Netherlands and I got a chance to stay with some of them. Some of them I got a chance to meet and hang out with and they showed me around and it was just such a wonderful experience. I'm one of those people that actually took the time to reach out to them and see if I can meet up with them again. And usually when you meet people, when you travel, you never see them again. But when you do get a chance to see them again, you do know that your friendship has now been reinforced. And even though the chance of you seeing them frequently is not gonna happen, at the very least, you know you're still friends and you have the connection 
and you can visit each other even if you won't be seeing each other for quite a while. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Live Free newsletter where you can get a 10-step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on a round-the-world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for that newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.